more than a piece, my brother. If you rollin' with me, my brother, just know we going past the peak, my brother. And I keep my eyes on the prize so I can never see defeat, my brother. Walking the fight. So you're rolling in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, grappling in the cage, or caught in a real life struggle. Then suddenly, darkness hits. No pain, no warning, just lights out. But What's actually happening inside your brain and body when you get choked out? Can it permanently damage your brain? Do you really lose brain cells every single time? Today, we'll dive deep into the medical science, bus myths, and explore the danger zone. Let's get dynamic. Now first, there are two types of chokes, blood chokes and air chokes. They sound similar, but function totally differently. Blood chokes cut off oxygen-rich blood to the brain rapidly, causing unconsciousness in six to 10 seconds. These are commonly used in moves like the rear naked choke, the triangle choke, and the arm triangle. Your brain consumes around 20% of your body's total oxygen even though it's only 2% of your body's weight. Cut off that blood flow and your brain quickly flips the off switch. Now, air chokes block the airway, causing suffocation. It takes longer, usually 30 to 60 seconds to go unconscious. These are more painful and can cause permanent tracheal damage. Crushing the trachea can even be fatal. Now, let's see exactly what happens in your brain when you're choked out. Your brain has about six seconds of oxygen reserves. When oxygen levels drop, your reticular activating system, the part that keeps you awake, immediately fails, leading to instant unconsciousness. No ATP means no neuron function, which causes your muscles to go limp. Now, the brain deliberately shuts down consciousness to conserve resources. This explains why passing out from a choke is not painful. It's instant. Your brain literally switches off to save itself. Ever seen fighters resist seemingly impossible chokes? Let's unpack why some fighters seem to last longer. Neck muscle mass and thickness can slow carotid compression. High adrenaline level temporarily boosts blood pressure and circulation. Now it's a myth that you lose brain cells every time you're choked unconscious. The fact is that short duration, less than 30 seconds, blood chokes typically do not cause permanent brain damage. Another myth, holding a choke for minutes is safe. The fact is that permanent brain damage can begin after two to three minutes without oxygen. Now, quick chokeouts are generally safe, but prolonged chokes cross into very dangerous territory, causing seizures, permanent damage, or death. Let's talk about long-term consequences. What about fighters who get choked repeatedly? Is that harmful? Well, chronic chokes may lead to small vessel damage, memory impairment, and cognitive decline. Increased risk of strokes or other neurological events due to repeated vascular trauma also can occur. Now, persistent confusion or dizziness, seizures, chronic headaches, visual disturbances, difficulty speaking, or limb weakness are all red flags post-choke. If these symptoms appear after being choked, seek immediate medical care. It is your brain. Take care of it. So, now you know exactly what is happening when you get choked out. Whether you're training in martial arts or learning self-defense, understanding these effects could save your life or someone else's. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and comment below if you've ever experienced a choke yourself. Until next time, stay dynamic and stay awake. <laughs> Peace.